Hey, it's me, Trent Rockwell. I just was working on the latest project, electronic project that I've been doing. Um, I've been adding electric start to my mower. And I'll show you how I've been doing that. So I took an old winch, old winch system. Uh, this is the winch system here. This comes in from the battery. This goes out to where a winch would be. But, as you can see, I added in a relay here. And, uh, those wires come all the way back to here. I'm not sure if I can, if you can see it there. Right there. So, it, I also added, I also added a diode in here. underneath where one of these wires here it's got a diode on it and I'll show you the diagram okay so here I have my diagram now this is the original diagram I created and I had two relays in here I found out I don't need two relays um, but in order to not have two relays, you need to have a diode. So I created this other circuit that uses one relay. So now you got the you got the kill coming from the key switch, the kill wire that goes to the coil. Now that that hooks up there on um, a five terminal relay. So that will conduct to the coil from the key unless the relay is switched on. And this is the red wire from the uh, the winch motor, um, uh, the winch motor contacts from the winch controller. Uh, that positive goes to there. That's grounded out, and that's grounded out. Um, this is to the starter solenoid, and this is the black wire coming from the winch. And then I put a diode here. So, uh, when you're not pushing the button, this black line and the red line are constantly grounded. And in order to start it from the key, when you go to start it from the key, it'll give a positive through here. If that was a ground, it would short out, blow my fuse out. So, I have a diode in there so it, it prevents current from going back that way. And the, the relay right here. You can see that constantly conducts over to the over to the coil from the key. But now, if this receives a positive here coming from the red wire, which in the case I have it set to extend because this was a winch, because um, this is the top of the remote, so I decided to have that as start. So when I push this, the black becomes positive, and that's where it goes to run the solenoid. Now if I go to kill it by pushing the track, it makes the red wire positive and then it turns on the relay. So and the key's gotta be on. It can't you can't have the key not be on and it'll start. Um so when you when you push um when you push the button the positive comes through here, switches on the relay, which grounds grounds it out to kill it. Okay, so I hope you liked the video. Hopefully it gives you some ideas on electronics and whatnot. Um, please like and subscribe. Uh, I will show you a video at the end of this of how it turned out.